In keeping to its constitutional mandate, the majority leader announced a four-member committee on the floor of the House. The members are James Kluchaveji, Deputy Minority Leader, Navrongo Central MP, Samson Chiragia, Ishaeso MP, Dr. Stephen Amwa, and MP4, Upper Dentra East, Dr. Festus Kofi. This re recommends that the Honorable James Kluchaveji is made the chairman of the committee. The speaker, this is so because, one, this is an ad hoc committee, and second, that the Honorable James Kuche Abeji is the most senior member and also a member of the leadership who is part of this committee. And it's for that reason that, unlike what obtains in practice, making the majority caucus members the chairperson of any such committee. A statement on the abysmal performance of the Black Stars at the ongoing African Cup of Nations in Cameroon was made on the floor of the House by ranking member on the Youth Sports and Culture Committee, Kobna Mensah Oyome. Other members of the House contributed to the statement. They had the opportunity of telling the whole country that they did not like the Siapia, who was then the coach. They brought in CK Akuno, that he had performed badly. They brought him over and they have asked him to also go. And yet those who were doing the search and appointing the people, the Black Star Management Committee, continue to be in office. The FA has every right to remove that group. Tell those who are placed at the helm of affairs, of our football, they shouldn't mess up with the country. They shouldn't. If I wanted, I certainly would have died that day. My condition would have been worse. I mean, I heard people when I was lying in my bed, heard people shouting all over the world. I would have died. Yeah, I'm for Ghana is the only country when we go to play, God has to come to earth to be our defender or our goalkeeper or our striker. There are, if you take Comoros, the country which managed to uh, disgrace us. Three two. Mr. Speaker, they don't have footballers even in Europe. But in Ghana, a minister, we have to think deep. The relationship between the ministry and the GFA in the name of autonomy. There are many qualified Ghanaian footballers like Juan Salisu of Southampton, Tariq Lamte of Brighton, Hassan Odoi of Chelsea, Afenye Jan of Roma. Brilliant Ghanaian footballers recognized at the world level, yet none of them was recognized by your coach, recognized by your technical bench. What kind of scouting did we do in Europe in preparing the team? Minister for Youth and Sports, Mustafa Yusif, placed the blame of the star's failure on poor technical direction. The Blaster have quality players. Mr. Speaker, we have Thomas, pa Thomas Pate of Arsenal who played in England, and every match, he's a regular player. We have Jordan Ayew of Crystal Palace, a regular player in the English Premier League. We have Baba Rahman of Reading. So individually, our national team have the players. But as whether they gel as a team is something that that we have to all interrogate. And, and that is why normally every team will have a technical team as well to read and manage games. And we believe that this Afghan campaign, the technical team did not manage the games very well for our dear country. And it's as a result of that, Mr. Speaker, that the ministry asked the GFA to review and look at the various teams that form the Ghana uh, Blasters. On the floor of parliament, the members devoted a healthy dose of time on the floor to comment on the abysmal performance of the Black Stars at the ongoing um, Confederation of African Football's AFCON showpiece, which is underway in Cameroon. Uh, reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Mentopo.